On July 1st, 2012, Samantha was involved in a near fatal car accident. Her car rolled five to six times and she got ejected 50 feet from the car head first. They said it wasn't looking good and that she would be in a vegetative state. Forever. Forever. But I didn't, I didn't believe it. Samantha was bedridden for approximately two months before starting therapy. She started off in a wheelchair for, I want to say maybe three or four months. Um, after that, with outpatient therapy, she eventually started using a four-prong cane. You remember I never leave you? Yeah. Uh-huh. How come? Yeah. You love me. Of course I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Samantha was referred to the ATI Foundation by one of our ATI co-workers and with a very inspiring story of how she has overcome many physically impairing disabilities due to her brain injury. She's come a long way, but there's still a long way to go and we wanted to be there to help her. Oh, I have way more ahead of me. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. In addition to Samantha's brain injury, she also suffered of a crushing injury to her arm which required orthopedic surgery and a metal implant inside her wrist. This makes her a perfect example of the people that we are celebrating at our metal walk, celebrating movement. To be the race starter for the metal walk means so much. I'm so excited. After the accident, people didn't think that she would ever walk again. Instead, she's getting ready to do another walk, a metal walk. Thanks to the ATI Foundation, I can get better and hopefully reach all my goals, like getting back to exactly where I was.